Hi there. So in today's video, I will be talking about the Cinco X Talk X2. Well, this is the box. I'm wearing the mic and the headset. Uh, it's a bit odd, not used to having two mics on me. There's one mic here, and then there's one here. Anyways, without wasting any time, let's get started. So the Cinco X Talk 2 is a 2.4 gigahertz full duplex wireless intercom headset system. This is a great tool for filmmakers, photographers. Uh, you can be an indie filmmaker, you can be a wedding filmmaker, or whatever work you do. Same thing goes with photography. Uh, this is a useful tool because it helps you connect with your crew, uh, your teammates on location. So the first thing when you open the box is the warranty card small and it has a QR code. I think these are the two headsets. Here we have the two batteries, one each per headset and the charging station, the foam cushions and we have a USB-C charging cable. So now let's take a look at the main unit. It's a nice soft pouch. Okay, so on one side it says Cinco. On the other side we have some buttons and the mic. The build quality seems decent. The cushion is nice and soft. Let's see the other unit. Okay, this unit looks exactly the same, except where it has a red sticker which says X-Talk. The other unit has a blue sticker that says X-Talk. Overall decent build quality and they look pretty good. So one important aspect of uh, having any piece of equipment that you're going to be wearing on your body, on your head, uh, for all day is comfort. And uh, this headset, I would say it's pretty comfortable. I like the fact that it's cushioned on both sides. I don't know if you can see it, if autofocus, yep, it got it. So it's cushioned here and also this side is cushioned. Sony autofocus really needs to improve. It's a bit slow. Uh, anyways, so yeah, it's adjustable. Uh, the foam makes it comfortable and uh, you can wear it on your left or right ear, however you prefer. So the range of this headphone is 350 meters, which is pretty decent. Uh, most of us indie filmmakers or some wedding filmmakers, I can't speak because uh, I don't do weddings and some banquet halls, maybe bigger. I don't think so, but maybe, we don't know. Anyways, it's 350 meters or 700 meters of a circular range, which is pretty good. So currently I'm in the basement, uh, three floors below where the other headset is and the signals is still pretty strong. Uh, I don't have anyone talking over there, uh, but there is music playing, which I can still hear here. I don't know. Let me try to increase the volume and bring it a little closer. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but, uh, yeah, it's working. And by the way, there are three doors which are closed. And of course, uh, uh, I'm three floors below and it's still working. It's pretty good, not bad. So now coming to the battery life, Cinco does claim the battery life to be up to 24 hours. I personally have experienced uh, 16 to 17 hours on one charge and there is still battery life. It's still not dead. I had three shoots, but they weren't significantly long. Uh, one was three hours, the other one's up, I think around six, and there's one more which was around six. So I haven't shot too, too much since I got this. Uh, but I think even if it goes up to 20 hours, it is pretty good battery life for such a small bot battery. This is the, I think these are the Fuji uh, NP70 batteries. These are super cheap. You can find these on Amazon but within $20. So very affordable battery. Uh, but I don't think like on an average 12 hour or 8 to 12 hour shoot day, you'll need any more than one battery. 
So the headset features four buttons and one switch on the side. Everything's on the same side. It's for noise cancellation, volume, and mute. And the switch is for power on and off. Uh, it does take some time to get used to it, but uh, once you're used to it, you know which button to press when. Uh, it's pretty convenient and uh, it works really well. So one very interesting feature this headset has, which actually I did not expect, did not know it was here until I saw it when I got the headset. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was. I had to do a little bit of research on this. Let's see if you can see it. So this is a 3.5 millimeter port. And this is useful for some people. Personally, if you ask me, I would not use this for monitoring audio, but this does connect to your camera or recorder and you can monitor audio. I do prefer professional headphones for monitoring audio, uh, but in a scenario where you don't have headphones, I think this is a great option. Uh, you can be communicating with your team and also monitoring audio, or you can do one thing at a time. It's up to you. It's there, it's a good feature to have for people that need it. So after using this, my thoughts on this uh, product. I think it's a great tool for people that work with a crew. It doesn't matter, it could be a two people, two or three people crew, it could be a five to 10 people crew. Uh, it does come in another variation, which is the X5. This one is X2. Uh, the X5, of course, you get more headsets. And uh, most importantly, it's a very budget-friendly option. If you are working with a crew, you need to communicate with your crew. Not everyone's going to be in the same place, not everyone's going to be in the same room all the time. If you are multiple videographers or multiple photographers covering different areas, this is the way to communicate. This is going to help you a lot. So overall, a good product a product which is useful for filmmakers, a product which is useful for photographers. And most importantly, like I said, the price. $200 for this. I don't think there's anything in the market for this price and uh, anything that performs like this. Because uh, signals don't drop, sound quality is good, comfort level is good, noise cancellation, the ability to monitor your audio, all these features packed in this, I think it's good. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If possible, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.